Hey there, Gamer Obscure here, continuing Super Mario RPG. We are in Booster's Tower. We've taken the receptionist job. It pays a lot better than rescuing the princess. No, let's get on it. It's not funny, Gam. Anyways, we got all these pictures on the wall. Dude! Yeah, I'm trying to appreciate the lineage of Booster here. So, obviously, it's just gonna go Booster the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Just remember these faces in the order in which they appear from eldest to youngest. And who was that guy? That was none other than Booster. And here we have an infinite line of Sniffits. I'm not even gonna bother with them. Wait, what? Oh! Uh, says, what's the big rush? Oh, it's Booster on his train. He's such a fun guy. Actually, that's Toad. Wait, <laughs> his famous tower of amusement. And he welcomes visitors. Look at him. I mean, obviously, he kind of looks a little bit like Wario, in a way. And Wario already existed at this point. So I don't know why they went with Booster instead of Wario. <laughs> his face! His face! Just keep looking at it. And then, like, the train goes around the corner. It's like, where is Booster? Wait, there he goes. Go get him. Get him. No, you can't get him. Please refrain from bothering Booster. I enjoy that line. I don't know why. Just... Telling someone to please refrain is just a classy way of telling them to fuck off, you know? It's so proper sounding, which almost makes it sound more insulting and angry. Like, I had a teacher back in high school, and you could tell he was really mad because he would get very verbose and would talk very properly, and you knew you were in trouble if you started busting out the $10 words. Like, he didn't even have to raise his voice. It was awesome. So now we have raw bombs. I think these are different than the ones we saw in the mines. A little bit stronger. But... Kind of the same deal. You know, they're not too bad. Hey, defense up. If there's anything Bowser needs, it's more defense. Like, physically, he's definitely the best party member. But lacking in the magic department. But that's okay, because that's what Geno's for. And of course, we gotta fight these things. What? Oh, that sneaky little guy. Anyways, so rem remember the springboard with the bomb? Oh, I got it first try. Yes, you gotta jump off that ledge and you find the masher. And it lands on your head and you pass out. Fun cushion time. So that's a really strong weapon. However, the variance in damage is massive. So sometimes it doesn't do hardly anything. And other times, it does a ridiculous amount of damage, and it's awesome. I'm gonna equip it, and we can check it out. Alright, so here we are in a battle. Gauge up, heck yes. So check this out, we're gonna use it on the Jester, if I can get over to him. I mean, 93. That was definitely better than what I was doing before. Hot shot. That's a hard one to dodge for some reason. Oof! Doing six to me here, what the hell, man? Get out of here, sniff it. You big old dummy. 158, let's go. Yeah, like I said, it's a, the variance in damage is massive, but that's okay. Also, you'll notice Gino was one experience points away from leveling up, so we gotta do a battle. All right, there's Gino leveling up. He just kind of waves, puts his hand to his heart. There we go. It's not really his hand, though. It's the doll that he's possessed. He's just controlling it. And now it's Bowser's turn to level up. He's <laughs> he looks like he's pouting. Bowser, you should be happy. What is this? What the hell, man? An attack of 90s. Bonuses leave a lot to be desired, but that's okay. I love how you can just mess with the curtains. Hey! A button, so you know we have to push it. Anytime you see a button like that, you're jumping on it. It doesn't matter. And here's a moment I've been waiting for. Yes! Ha 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 ha! They kept it in! Oh, I love it! I love it. Yeah, you run behind those curtains. And then when you try and leave, it plays like the you're almost gonna die because you're running out of time. Super anxiety-inducing music. And you turn back to three. I'm so glad they left that in. That's awesome. The splash damage from the masher was enough to take out the orb user. 
Ooh, oh, we got the bullets. Yeah, let's fight a bullet. Why not? Oh, that's right. You don't fight a bullet. You fight a cannon. Which is kind of weird because the bullets were coming from the Sniffit, not a cannon. Like, what the hell, man? Oh, you love it when you get the splash damage, though. The defense on these things is outrageous. Yes, we got one of them down. And Gino, thankfully, with the defense up. Because these things don't mess around. Oh, that masher, dude. So overpowered. And here is Sniffster number three. He's just like, you want to fight? Very aggressive. I mean, you know, the first one... Not really threatening, but was pretty much like, hey, we're closed, but you can try and force your way in. Kind of implying that we're going to get into a fight. The other one just told us to quit bothering Booster and attacked us. This guy just straight up offers to fight. He's a jerk. But anyways, that's all three Sniffsters in the tower. To so take them out. I don't feel like fighting these, these raw bombs. They don't give you a lot of experience. A save point I don't need. Okay, so here we go. So if it's the right... If it's the same as before... It's six, five, three, one, two... Is obviously the current booster. And we get a key! The key! And you use that to open this door, and now Bowser's about to get a huge upgrade here. <laughs> the way it's chomping! I don't know, that looked funny. And they gaze into each other's eyes. Love is in the air. And Booster's Tower. Oh, what are you doing to that chain chomp, Bowser? Yeah, we gotta look the other way. They need some privacy here. Good grief. Well, Bowser, that didn't last long. Jeez. You know. One minute. Yeah, <laughs> stop. All right, let's equip it. Oh my god. Like, what am I even saying sometimes? Seriously. Grow up, Gam. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we just keep climbing the tower and we got a thwomp. Hey, and a treasure chest with a mushroom. Which doesn't really matter because I think everyone's leveled up here pretty much. And Mario wasn't that bad off. The perspective of this is awful though. Oh, you know what? I probably should have left that battle in so I could show off the chomp. Although we'll get to show it off soon enough. Now we got this room, which is just kind of annoying. You know, every every once in a while, well, we'll see if it happens, but every once in a while you step on a spot on the floor. Hey, Zoom Shoes, someone's definitely getting those. I'll be right back. There, I gave him to Bowser, just so his speed is more on par with the rest of us. Well, what the hell, man? I'm just gonna run around, because there you go. I was gonna say, like, there's just random squares where you end up fighting these lava blubbles. They're not lava bubble, they're lava blubble. And I'm surprised that even Gino outspeeds these things, because they have a crazy fast speed stat, and you have to do a timed hit. And there I just totally botched the Chain Chomp with Bowser. That's embarrassing, man. I gotta double my experience to make up for that shit, and watch me screw this up too now. Ooh, I think it's in the middle. Yes! I've yet to lose one of these. And not that I'm bragging, it's just, it's definitely easier than the original. I feel like the original is totally rigged. Right, Mario and Mal are actually getting pretty close to leveling up here. So we'll have to do some more random battles that aren't random. Stop calling them random battles, game. There's nothing random about them. But 25 experience points, so hopefully we can get some more lucky eggs even. Oh shit. Flame wall, dang. Oh, an Iron Maiden. So that inflicts fear status, which is totally not cool. Bowser used to have the fearless pin. But then I gave it away to Mario so he could have the zoom shoes. Dude! Why are these things so damn strong? Don't recover that thing. What the hell, man? Why are these... This one's so much stronger than all the other ones? This is bizarre. And I just broke the chain. Honestly, this... Like, I was taking these things out with splash damage. Carnicus. Damn it! Oh, this has all gone wrong. That keeps missing Mario. Oh, it's a special orb user, that's why. I didn't catch that at first. So this thing's gonna keep messing us up here. Dang, he's got some crazy defense. And I keep screwing it up! Don't recover yourself! Oh! Alright, let's take out the Chain Chomp first. 
This is this is gonna be quite a battle here. Especially since that thing can keep recovering itself. So I might do the triple move, but I wanna save it for the boss. There we go. Get the hell out of here, man. Thing's only supposed to have like 10 hit points or something. Yeah, seven experience points away. There we go, Mario and Mallow getting another level, already to level 10. He's got super fireball. That's crazy, I swear I normally don't have that. Until like the sunken ship, I don't know. Is it easier to get levels in this game? I don't think so. I don't feel like they've increased the experience points. And Mallow can now do the shocker. And boy will Princess be- No! Gam, no! You can't say that. <laughs> oh man, what is wrong with me? Chugga chugga. Hey, is that a shout-out? <laughs> it's personal railway. A? Oh, Booster's Canadian. Yeah, it is me again. Quite amazing you are. Strong, yes! The mustachioed one is strong. My bride to be is chanting Mario, help me, Mario, help me, Mario, help me. Maybe Mario's another guy. What if I am this Mario? I don't know, we could take the bob bomb Would you want to marry a bomb? I don't know. Pee Wee Herman married a fruit salad once. I think you can fight the bombs if you want, or you can just leave. Like, I could just leave the room, I'm pretty sure, but it's more fun to peek through this little window. And I'm pretty sure they do blow up at some point. There they go. Jeez, it took forever, man. And he gets all sad. It's like, no one wants to play with me. Wee, I ran out of bombs. <laughs> I'm so mad. And he just leaves, doesn't even care. Let's get on with it. Oh shit! I don't want to fight you. We've already leveled up. I don't like. I don't want any more levels. I do, but not. I just. I feel so over leveled. It's not even funny. Now let's see what we got. Oh shoot! That's right. You got to try and get like way up here. This can be a tricky jump sometimes. No, we got it. And you get the goodie bag. And you can sell that for a, a ridiculous amount of coins. Dude, don't go that way. That's where you came from. Silly. What the hell? So now here's like one of the most epic parts of the game. This should be fun. Hey! It's a Peach doll. Yep, and the Mario doll sitting there. There's just a beetle in a cage, if you can't tell. And finally, after all this time, Mario and Peach are united once again. She was so frightened and lonely. I'm cold and frightened. But the door's locked. It's a, it's a double bolted door. Oh, you need a spell? Yeah, you need the password, but you don't get to name your character in the remake, which is kind of sad, because the password was always whatever you named your character, so of course you could make the password something hilarious and inappropriate. I don't get that option, so I'm guessing the password is just going to be Mario or something. Who knows? Alright, but here we go. We gotta move freely behind the curtains and hide from Booster and the Sniffsters. I, I, I don't get why they're not called Sniffits. Maybe because the purple ones are? I don't know, man. But here, they're, yeah, they're debating their next moves here. I mean, Booster is just all levels of anxiety here, thinking about his impending wedding. And you think it's bad now, just wait. Yeah. You gotta have a party. What is a party? You drink punch and eat cake, I think. <laughs> it's complicated. It's not complicated. It's just scary having that many people around at one time. But yes, here we go. Uh, it's so charming, just some of the dialogue. They, they even accounted for the fact that Mario's gonna show up. And like, he has a Mario doll, but he didn't recognize me. I should have turned around so he could have seen my butt. Then he would have known it was me for sure. He couldn't find water if you were fish. It's behind those curtains. So let's see. We'll see if I can pull this off. Obviously, it's easy when it's just the one. And you want to win this. Like, I kind of want to fight Booster. But if you if you don't have to, because you successfully hide, you get a pretty decent item. I'm going to assume it's the same thing. It's, it's the amulet. It nerfs your speed. But I think it's plus seven to all your other stats. So it's not bad to have. And I'll probably end up giving that to Bowser once I get it. Just because he's slow anyway, so I don't really care about his speed. You know, I just gave him the zoom shoes. 
just because I didn't think there was a point in letting the others be way faster, because they're already pretty fast. So as, as quickly as I made him fast, we'll make him slow again, but he'll get a huge boost to all his other stats, and it should be pretty nice. But we gotta get it first, so don't, don't get cocky here. But as you can see, hiding from these things isn't that bad. It's just at the very end... Well, at the very end, you want to be directly under the Mario doll. For reasons you'll see once we get there. So... But outside of this, I mean, they just check them in order, as you can see. So just run to the end here. And, you know, and they'll start checking, like, the outside ones and the inside ones. It's not so bad. So where are they going to next? Alright, so we gotta hide here again. Oh, no, they try and trick you. Yeah, see, now I think this is the one where they're running. They're gonna run like crazy, so just get under the Mario doll. Booster's like, this is way better than a party. Yeah, look out, because here I come, and Mario's just totally freaking out. No, don't turn around, Mario! That's how I'll know it's you! Oh. <laughs> he casually walks out like, son of a bitch! There is a Mario doll up there. And he starts crying, because he can't reach his doll. I'm about to lose it. Oh, oh, oh no, the sniffets are just panicking. So we'll jump up and knock their doll down for them. And he's just like, I don't know who you are because I can't see your ass, but thanks for getting my doll. Booster's Charm? I, I must, I'm going to assume that's what the new name for the amulet is. But here we go. Here's the password. It's Gamera! Oh, so it's just based off your Switch profile. That is an awesome password, I must say. So there we go. Anyways, I don't want to walk out the door because we'll have to fight a boss that I don't want to fight right now. So we'll save it for next time, and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.